time. They're just a little bit awkward to be around. Many of the costume people who believe they are those Disney characters. Kids are sitting on a bench somewhere, you know, drinking a soda, and they'll run up and slap the drink out of the kid's hands. Like, kid, quick, come on! I just stole this loaf of bread from the marketplace because I'm poor. And guess what? You're poor too. So the guards come. Let's, let's sing. Let's sing a song while we run. Caesar, are you coming to bed? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed that creepy intro at the beginning. I advise you to watch it in the dark if you like creepy stuff like this. Let me know if you can make it through it. Comment below because I had a tough time and it's already like about to be dark outside. I am going to brighten up my skin a whole bunch. I don't want to look like a complete ghost. Um, I do want to have like a little bit of a human vibe to me. So I'm using the lightest foundation that I have. I want to make sure that it's full coverage. I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. After I have layered that on, as you can see, I did two layers of this stuff so we can get it nice and bright and the coverage is balm.com. Um, so basically I am blending it in right here around my eyes, making sure there's no creases. And then I'm taking my Ben Nye Super White Powder and I'm just going to brush that, blend that into my skin just to set the foundation in place. Now it's time for the brows. I started using a pencil and then I realized that that was not working for me so I used a black powder instead. Just try to make your eyebrows as thin and evil as possible. So now I'm going to hollow out my under eye circles and so I'm taking these two shades right here and I'm going to go right underneath my under eyes taking it into the inner parts of the inner corners and also on the tops of the cheekbones. And then I'm going to take this purple and pinkish purple shade and I'm going to blend it right on top. This is going to make it look a little bit bruised um, and just bloodthirsty in the eyes. So I'm going to take it right underneath the eyes, also taking a reddish brown to hollow out the nose a little bit. Here I'm just blending the edges, making sure they're nice and soft. Next I'm using the Scone Cosmetics Pretty Eyes Eyeliner in Plum. And this is a pretty intensive color. It's a really nice purple. I also added a little bit of black to redefine the eyes and add a little bit more drama to the look. So I'm going to take this red shade right here, I'm going to blend it right underneath the purple and I still want the brown to show underneath the red so make sure that is still peeking through and then I'm blending it in all the way into the inner part of the nose and then I'm taking a big fluffy powder brush just to soften everything. After that I'm taking this gray shade and blending that into the crease. And now for the lids, I'm going to use a stark white shadow and I'm going to place it right on the lids, make sure it's nice and packed on there. And then after the white has been blended up into the crease a little bit, I'm going to take a fluffy brush just to make sure all the edges are nice and soft. So now I'm going to create an intense cat eye. To do that, I'm using my Girlactic Eyeliner. And if you have some trouble applying your liner and getting a nice clean line, take your time and you will get it right. Trust me, I still have trouble. I do not think I am the best at it, so practice makes perfect. Um, and now I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara on the top, really just for the lashes to get tacky with it, and mostly on the bottom. To apply my lashes, I'm using these Imita tweezers. These are the slant tweezers. They have the perfect tension just to slide your brow hair out. They're awesome. Now I'm going to do my veins using the blue, browns, and purples. Just mixing all of these shades together. And I am creating these little branches underneath my eyes. And I'm kind of branching them off of each other, making little Vs. Just placing them in random places underneath. And then I'm going in with a fluffy brush just to smooth them out. So next I'm adding the Ben Nye Thick Blood to my veins and then I honestly got a little too happy with drawing squiggly lines on my face so I added them on my forehead for no reason. Just 
you know, just to do it. Um, but you can customize this look how you want. You can add more, add less, whatever you like. Um, and then I went in with black and a little bit of dark brown to hollow out the cheekbones around the forehead and temples. And now I'm going to do the lips. The lips are just going to be black. I used a Kat Von D black lipstick for this and a little bit of a NYX lip liner to sharpen up everything. And then I went back in with a black matte powder and I used that on the center of the lips. Next I added these small vampire teeth right here and this is the completed look. Thumbs up and comment below what Halloween looks you want to see next. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much and until the next video, bye dollies!